Jane O'Brien, Autumn Days. As summer drips to a sullen close, and foggy dusk once more obscures my view, I keep the window open, fashioned out of spring fancy, and thrust out into the greying hue. As neighbours softly, firmly close their doors, not out of anger, but out of season, I do a spot of gardening, bravely pulling at the reckless weeds with gay and summertime abandon. Now before the clouds can catch me up, I plan my getaway to a sunny shore where moony waters and open faces cheer me on and in retreat beat autumn from my door. Come Alive With Them by Alana Hester. Trace a chalk outline of my shape on this flaking concrete warmed by the sun so I can rise up from it. If every reflection of stark light reminds me to remind me of myself, right at dusk with spears of sun cut straight to the core and in the morning again in case I somehow forgot while sleeping. Fuck, sometimes they make me think of you still shaking out traces of blue longing like ink soaked into my bloodstream. I'm at the stage where I want to stick my mouth on them just to see how they'd feel. Listen to the crow gang that's taken up residence behind the house. Duke it out in a war of roses only so I can hold hands, lace theirs with mine. Lie with my head in their lap, a halo of blue sky around their head when I look up blue black wing in the distance. Hi, I'm Matthias and I'm going to be reading The Bones of Spring. I wish I could write of spring and do its beauty justice. I would write metaphors of how our blooming love is like the blooming of the flowers I would write similes of how the renewal of nature is the renewal of my spirit when embraced by your love. But the words fail me, for my heart cannot find the beauty in us that it once did. The heaviest of April showers have uprooted the flowers of May, and all that remains is the bare earth, the bones of nature left to dry and crack, left to become brittle. And now all I can hope is that a new rainfall might come and life can start again and can grow in place of all that has died. Thank you. Nature's Symphony by Rhys Campbell It's 3.33 a.m. All I hear is whistling tree frogs and the soothing hum of my oscillating fan. I'm left wondering about the universe, how it began, our use of language and the origins of man. My overactive mind grabs me, yanking me out of bed. I pace to the fridge, I pour a glass of water, and the Hobbes clock paints it red. I peer outside my window, the moon shining bright. The white orb wears a halo and lights up the night. I hear the leaves brush against the trees, orchestrating nature's symphony. Then I wonder, where does the wind start and where does it end? The truth lies in the stars, but we won't know until the stars fall. Protection. On the meadow path southwest corner, honey locusts sit, thorns out, splintering air with their needles gargoyles daring anyone to come near. Their blatant defense used to catch me off guard. I was looking for snowdrops and daffodil shoots. But in these days, my breaths require a fishing line. I carry rocks instead of shoulders. In these days, I need a new stance. And if for a season, my bark looks like thorns, so be it.
the forgotten language of summer. Faces gently tingle with the taste of sun, kissed by the cool water's turquoise touch, running with nowhere to be, glowing with footprints of forgiveness, squelch into sediment, wade into sentiment, only acceptable at this degree. Burns we hope to avoid, worries we hope they collide and dissipate like wave droplets evaporating over shifting sands. El con Aguilar, the window. They who wait for seasons to change sit right next to the window letting the air come through the thin glass. They who love the old house understand its tricks and perks. This discomfort too shall pass. They who they dream find a moment of quietness, seeing through the lights of the city, a new season approaching, a warm winter, or perhaps a cold spring, a distant summer ends. Hi, my name is Shelby Carden, and I will be reading my poem titled Summer Ends Like. Summer ends like your tendency to turn and run, like a flame snuffed out, noxious smoke still lingering in the air, a stubborn heat that won't fully leave, like your hand pulling me in and then pushing and pushing and pushing me away, like the last strawberry in the carton like the sunset fading into blackness while I fight to imprint the image into my memory for safekeeping, but I'll never get it back. Like my favorite part of my favorite song losing its spark because I've completely played it to death. Like a ship returning to harbor, the adventure over. Like time running out. Like the deepest ache that twists and shifts but always, always returns. Like a peach pit left in my outstretched hand, greedily sucked clean of its fleshy fruit, a last remaining artifact of sweetness, now nothing but cold and hard and bare. Like a chapter ending, but bracing for the next one coming, like the air squeezed out of my lungs, slowly, slowly, then all at once. Like rocks being piled back on my shoulders, one by one by one. Like a heart breaking for the millionth time, but not the last time like curtains closing, like rounding a corner, like hoping for change, like wishing for just a little longer, like saying goodbye, like letting it all go, like knowing what's coming must be even better than what's gone.